If you have endometriosis, you're all too familiar with the heavy periods, pain, and nausea it can cause. Endometriosis happens when, for unknown reasons, tissue similar to the lining of your uterus grows on parts of your body where it doesn't belong, like your ovaries, fallopian tubes, or intestines. When the cells try to shed during your period, the blood has nowhere to go, and that causes the nearby organs and tissues to become inflamed. This inflammation can make the symptoms of endometriosis worse. Having too much of the hormone estrogen in your body can also aggravate endometriosis symptoms. But there's good news. Eating the right foods can help your body fight inflammation, keep estrogen in check, and hopefully help you find some relief from pain. So what should you throw in your grocery cart? Number one, anything with fiber is a thumbs up, as long as you don't eat too much of it. Fiber-rich foods help your body get rid of estrogen through bowel movements. You can add fiber by eating more fruits and veggies. Make sure to eat the whole food and avoid juices. Ground flaxseed, like chia seeds, are easy to sprinkle on a smoothie or any food. Beans, lentils, and chickpeas. And whole grains, like whole wheat pasta and brown rice. Fiber is good, but too much of a good thing, well, isn't good. Too much fiber all at once can cause bloating and gas. Just remember, everything in moderation. Number two, foods with lots of omega-3 fats are also a great choice. Omega-3 fats can help calm inflammation from endometriosis. Good sources of omega-3s include fatty fish, such as salmon, sardines, and tuna, nuts and seeds, like walnuts, chia seeds, and flaxseed, and plant oils, such as flaxseed and canola oil. Number three, monounsaturated fats also have an anti-inflammatory effect, so they're good to include in your diet. These fats are found in avocados, nuts and seeds, olive oil and safflower oil, and peanut butter. And number four, foods high in magnesium and zinc can sometimes have a positive effect on your periods. Magnesium is a natural muscle relaxer, so it may help with cramps. Magnesium-rich foods include dark chocolate in small amounts to avoid getting too much sugar, leafy greens like arugula, dark lettuce, kale, and spinach, black beans and edamame, and nuts and seeds, especially almonds and pumpkin seeds. Zinc can help regulate your periods, which keeps your hormones balanced. Good sources of zinc are poultry, like chicken or turkey, red meat, but limit this to two low-fat servings a week, and shellfish, like oysters, crab, and lobster. If you eat a vegetarian or vegan diet, ask your healthcare provider if you should take a zinc supplement. Eating good, healthy food should be an important part of any diet, whether you have endometriosis or not. And no food by itself is going to make symptoms of endometriosis go away completely. But choosing foods that help fight the things that aggravate the condition can certainly help and definitely won't hurt.